The couple lay entwined amid the scattered remains of a picnic. In Molly's view, the girl was too young for the man cupping her breast like a green peach, as if testing it for ripeness. His black shirt was folded nearby, a minister's collar coiled neatly in the center of it. Molly sat hunkered down on her heels, biding her time. She held a walker colt, idly spinning the chamber with her thumb. Late August sweat ran down the back of her neck. Their faint murmurings drifted to her on the breeze amid the throaty calls of blackbirds. She glanced around. The Kansas plains stretched for miles beyond the cottonwoods lining the banks of the Neosho River. She'd stopped to water here, the crossing familiar and well-worn by buffalo and cattle alike. Her horse Samson grazed nearby, his piebald coat startling against the monochromatic sky. Finally, she rose and walked toward the pair, cocking the pistol. When she got about ten feet away, she stopped and pointed it at the sky. Then she pulled the trigger. The shot rolled across the prairie, flushing the blackbirds from the willows. Samson jerked his head up, buckling down on his haunches. The couple flew apart, scrambling across their blanket and clutching at themselves. Jesus Christ, bellowed the preacher. He jumped up, wild-eyed. The girl sprawled at his feet, legs splayed, eyes bulging. Cover yourself, he snapped. She grabbed her dress like a shield. The preacher hastily buttoned his pants, glaring at Molly with sudden indignant rage. Molly gave a wry smile. This ain't what they taught in Sunday school when I was her age. Well, who the hell are you? We don't have any money. I ain't robbing you. She cocked the pistol again. You got no business with that girl. You best step away from her. The preacher smirked. I'm committing no crime, nor sin either. We're in love. She ain't old enough to be in love, Molly said. She nodded to the girl. Come with me. The girl shook her head, wrapping her arm around the preacher's leg. Please don't kill him, ma'am. I won't kill him, honey, but I'll give him something to think about besides love for a while. You don't want him shot, you get over here. 